Welcome to another episode of Monday Minutes, where every Monday I kickstart your week in less than five minutes, and you know the rules, or else I'm going to come kick you in the shins. I, You know what? I'm really never going to kick any of you in the shins, but if you were standing in front of me, I'd big, give you a big hug and be like, hey, let's just put this into practice. But you know the rule of Mondays is to listen and apply immediately. Apply it to your mindset, apply it to your life, apply it to your business, and put it into practice. And at any moment, come back to this episode, listen to it again, get refocused, regrounded, and keep going because that's the only way this works. And so today's Monday Minute. Pick a cliche. Ideas are shit, execution is everything. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If it's in your head, it's not real. If it's not in your calendar, it's not gonna work. It's true. I have 8,000 ideas that I want to do every single day. But the only ones that got done are the ones that I put in front of me in my calendar, on my to-do list, or I tell my team what to do. And most of the time, our success is prevented by our obsession or distraction by consuming more details or thinking about it more or overthinking it or overplanning it. Now, I do not want you to put something into practice that you will fail with, but there is a point, and only you know that point, where you must stop thinking and start acting. Name me one product that you've ever seen that has gone to market, that has gone to market and looks identically the same as it did on day one. Does the iPod look the same? Does a laptop look the same? Does a physical product look the same? Do digital courses look the same? Do podcasts look the same? The purses look the same. The cars look the same. No. They get iterated. They get updated. They get reinforced. They get revisited. But without them being put into practice, without them being put into action, none of that can happen. Anything besides action is frozen. And I wrote a quote. Hold on. I got to find this this morning. I wrote a quote at the gym and I said, you either plan for your greatness or you accept your mediocrity. You either plan for your greatness or you accept your mediocrity. And so what is that thing in your life? What is that thing in your business? What is that thing in your practice? What is that thing in your diet, in your movement, in your exercise, in your team, in your culture? What is that thing that you've been thinking about that you want to fix that bothers you but haven't done anything about, haven't put one thing into practice? Whatever that thing is today, I want you to schedule it on your calendar sometime in the next seven days, ideally today. But I want you to open your calendar as you sit here and listen to this right now and carve out whatever time block you need to either reflect on it for 20 minutes and get clarity and then schedule in an implementation time or implement it right now, today, tomorrow, the next day. But I want you to take that thing and you know what that thing is. As you hear this, it just popped into your brain. That thing. And I don't want any excuses. Don't try to find another one. That thing, you know what it is. Nobody else knows but you. The one that every time you think about it, there's another reason not to do it. Or you start it and then you procrastinate. You start it and you start something else. I want you to do that thing. And I want you to make it real. So what you need to do is you need to schedule time in your calendar today, non-negotiable, right now, and plan a time to then either implement that or get clarity and then implement that so you can move the needle in your business or your life or your health or your fitness or your relationship or anything. And then I want you to tell somebody that you're going to do it. That is the biggest key. Accountability will create your greatness. You need to think about that thing that you just found. You need to schedule it in and you need to tell somebody. And don't you dare tell somebody that isn't going to hold you accountable. If you want, DM me. Send me a DM. I'll hold you accountable. I promise. And I will read and respond to every one of them. What is that thing? When are you doing it in the next seven days? And who are you going to tell? You either plan for your greatness or you accept your mediocrity. And at the end of the day, the choice is yours. So start taking those ideas, start trusting your gut, your intuition, your wisdom, and start putting them into practice so you actually have a chance of winning the game. 
because you can study playbooks all day. You can run books, read books on running. You could read books on weightlifting. You could read books on running a marathon. But until you put your shoes on and go run, you won't get better. Until you put your pads on and go onto the field, you won't get to practice the play. And today is the day to plan for your greatness. That's another episode of Monday Minutes. Remember, listen to this. Put it into practice right now. If you need a reminder, come back and listen to this again. Follow the rules, follow the steps, and go set your week up to absolutely crush and start moving yourself forward towards your goals right now. Until the next episode, I will see you on Winning Wednesdays. Remember that relationships always beat algorithms, and I love you.